Britain must prepare for war in three years with four countries, including Russia, UK general. The British armed forces need to be ready for war in three years. Currently, there is a threat from four countries, including Russia, according to the head of the British armed forces, General Sir Rowley Walker. Walker predicted that Russian President Vladimir Putin will be very, very dangerous when he emerges from the war in Ukraine and will want retribution against Western countries that support Ukraine's defenders. This situation could arise regardless of whether Russia wins or loses. The point here is when you think Russians are down, they will come roaring back to get their vengeance, he said. He also admitted China's invasion of Taiwan, spoke about Iran's intentions to develop nuclear weapons, and recalled the threat from North Korea. According to him, all four of the above-mentioned countries are establishing relations with each other, exchanging weapons and technologies. That is why you get to this point by 2027 to 2028, this convergence may have reached some sort of mutual singularity and your ability to deal with them in isolation, a specific crisis that can be managed by the rules-based system, I think is significantly diminished, Walker said. At the same time, he clarified that Britain is not on an inevitable path to war, but it urgently needs to rebuild its ability to deter future wars. NATO officials and generals have repeatedly stated that Russia could attack the alliance. They shared their predictions about such a threat. In particular, as noted by Bundeswehr Inspector General Karsten Brewer, Russia may be ready to attack NATO territory in five to eight years. During this period, they are likely to gather a sufficient number of personnel and weapons. We observe that the Russian army orients towards the West. In five to eight years, Moscow's armed forces will be equipped with the material base and personnel needed to attack NATO territory, Brewer noted. According to the general, this assessment is based on his own analytical data, intelligence information and the armed forces of Germany's allies, as well as statements by Russian President Vladimir Putin. At the same time, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky emphasized that Russia could attack NATO if Ukraine loses the war. Visitors ran for safety at Yellowstone National Park after a hydrothermal explosion sent rock and steam spewing into the air north of the Old Faithful Geyser on July 23, park officials said. There were no injuries, and the extent of the damage from the blast, which occurred in Biscuit Basin. The Biscuit Basin parking lot and boardwalks are now temporarily closed for visitor safety. National Park Service noted that geologists are investigating the event. Hydrothermal explosions occur when water suddenly flashes to steam underground, and they are relatively common in Yellowstone. It's sort of an underappreciated hazard in the Yellowstone region, said Michael Poland, scientist in charge with the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. People focus on the volcanism there, but there's no sign of any volcanic activity involved in this, he said. It was simply a geyser system, a hydrothermal system, that experienced changes underground that caused a lot of water to flush the heat. Photos posted by Yellowstone National Park show the nearby boardwalk covered in dirt, rocks and debris. The boardwalk and a parking lot were closed for the time being because of safety concerns, the park service said. The explosion has nothing to do with volcanic activity, it noted. Hydrothermal explosions are somewhat common in the area occurring when underground water suddenly turns to steam. Similar eruptions occurred at Biscuit Basin in 1959, 1991, and 2009.